As a North African country, Algeria's weapons and equipment are mainly of Soviet Russian origin. Just this year, it was discovered that the country has equipped itself with a strange fire support vehicle, which is a combination of the T-62 tank and the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle, similar to vehicles like the BMP T-72. Algeria had purchased over 300 T-62 main battle tanks in the 1970s, which were considered a powerful armored force at the time and in the local context. However, over time, they have become outdated and worn out, and are no longer suitable as the main armored force in this century. It is estimated that the country still has about 300 T-62 tanks available for use in 2021. In 2006, Algeria purchased 360 sets of the Berejok kit from Russia. This is a new combat turret developed by Russia for upgrading the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. It can be considered a modular equipment. However, Algeria did not fully use these kits to upgrade the infantry fighting vehicles, but instead combined some of them with the T-62 tank chassis. This fire support vehicle made its appearance at this year's military parade, but it is unclear if it has an official name. Some media outlets have referred to it as the BMP T-62, but based on some videos of the parade found online, there seems to be a considerable number of modified vehicles, possibly dozens. This modified vehicle may not be able to compare with the more specialized BMP-72 in terms of performance, but it is not weak either. The original tank turret has been removed and replaced with the Berejok turret at the turret ring position. The turret is equipped with a 2A42 30mm autocannon, and the dual feed system can provide different types of ammunition. The vehicle carries a total of 500 rounds, and it can engage ground targets or low-flying targets at a distance of 2,000 meters. The maximum effective range is 4,000 meters. The armor-piercing rounds it fires can penetrate steel armor ranging from 18 to 55 millimeters, depending on the distance. In addition to the main gun, the turret is also equipped with a 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun with 2,000 rounds of ammunition, as well as an AG-30M 30 millimeter grenade launcher with 300 rounds of ammunition. On the external sides of the turret, there are two laser-guided Cornet-E anti-tank missile launchers, which can launch 9 Me-113 Conkers series missiles. The range and power of the missiles vary depending on the model. The Berejok turret only requires two operators, with the vehicle commander and gunner sitting side by side. The turret is equipped with a thermal imaging site and a fire control system with target tracking capability, enhancing the turret's combat capabilities at night and in adverse weather conditions. It has a certain anti-tank capability. In addition to the new combat turret, there have also been some changes in the vehicle's protection. It can be clearly seen that skirts have been installed on both sides of the vehicle and grills have been installed on both sides of the engine compartment. It is said that the vehicle also has a complete NBC, Nuclear Biological Chemical Protection System, and an automatic fire suppression system. As for the overall combat effectiveness of Algeria's new equipment, it is difficult to judge. Some friends may compare it to the performance of the Russian military this year, but specific issues need to be analyzed in detail. Different battlefield environments may require different considerations, and the most advanced may not necessarily be the most suitable.